Deep on the cold, dark sea floor, Ambari researchers made an unexpected discovery. During a 2012 expedition in the Gulf of California, scientists launched a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, to explore the sea floor. They noticed an unusual sight, scattered squid carcasses and empty egg sheets. When they returned in 2015, they found even more. What were these carcasses doing on the deep ocean floor? To find out, let's take a look at the mysterious lives of squid. Many squid species gather in large groups, spawning and laying clusters of eggs on the seafloor. Shortly after this reproductive frenzy, the adults die. But some female deep-sea squid are devoted to their offspring. The mother squid lays her eggs into an egg sheet, then protects them between her arms for months. The babies finally hatch, and the mother squid? She gives up the ghost and drifts down to the seafloor with her empty egg sheet. But that's not really the end of the story. After reaching the sea floor, the squid bodies become food for hungry mouths and could possibly be devoured in just 24 hours. One ROV dive revealed dozens of scattered egg sheets and several squid carcasses. Researchers weren't certain why so many carcasses fell in this area. Perhaps the topography and currents near the Seralvo trough concentrated the sinking carcasses, or maybe large numbers of squid had recently brooded their eggs nearby. But if this area was an unintentional graveyard for the squid and their egg sheets, it was a banquet for other types of bottom-dwelling animals – ratfish, sea stars, crabs, and other crustaceans, among other scavengers. In a place where food is normally scarce, squid falls can have a dramatic effect on the normal rhythm of life. The scientists wondered if these carcasses trickle down steadily, in seasonal pulses, or in random isolated events. These observations may relate to larger-scale trends in the oceans. The researchers noted that in some cases, when fish are over-harvested, squid populations increase, which could be a result of less competition for food and fewer predators. Hypothetically, a shift from mostly fish to mostly squid would lead to more deep-sea squid falling to the sea floor in large pulses. This may sound like a positive thing for animals living below, but would change the normal balance of food supply to the sea floor, which might affect the whole ecosystem. Ambari explorers who found these squid and egg sheets have a lot more questions. It's unclear what kind of short-term and long-term effects a squid graveyard can have in the depths. The researchers are excited to dive deeper into this new discovery. This is Vicki Stein for Ambari.